And that's one of the things I don't want to leave on the back burner. I always told myself, I don't want to... I don't want to be forced to be healthy when, when you know, if I get a sickness or something like that, if I get sick, I have to force to be healthy. I have to be forced to be healthy. I have to force be forced to, I have to be forced to work out. You know, I want to do it on my own. So those, you know, prevention is better than cure. Good morning, YouTube. I don't know why I like clapping every time I talk. So, um, this morning, we're going to make an acai bowl. Acai bowl. Um, it has become one of my favorite breakfasts. Um, I have to have it each week. It's so refreshing. gives me so much energy. And so, let's gather all the ingredients. So, stay tuned. All right. So, acai is fairly expensive. The frozen one. If you guys have another spot that's, you know, less ex um, expensive and that's organic, drop it in the, the comment section and let me know. But I get mine from Publix. I get this one. I like it because it's unsweetened. Try to stay away from sh um, processed sugar as much as possible. So it's smoothie packs. So I make for myself and all the kids. I usually use two packs and I like to whatever frozen fruits we have we have some strawberries it's mango season but i'm not too sure i want to add mangoes i haven't had it with it so i don't want to mess it up because we love it just the way we, we just the way i make it we love it and i like to get this as well it has acai in it but i like to get the packs because it really gives you that well, this one it really good morning go ahead go collect mangoes it really gives you that purple, dark purple. This one, it has acai, kale, strawberry, apple, blueberry in this frozen pack. And we use a few. This, it has, um, these are, um, individual packs, which is also good as well. So, so that's basically our base. I like to blend it with some milk like a smoothie so I like to blend it with milk and what else do I do um bananas bananas are like a key a key ingredient in my acai bowl whether frozen or not it has I have to have banana because it makes it I feel like it makes it more smooth um I have that let me go grab my banana so I have my bananas I like to put one for the blending and one to top it off I also I have to find the name of this because this is not the box. This is... Okay, put it up there. You got some mangoes. Yeah, so every morning they pick up some mangoes. And so I forgot the name of this. It's I think it's Great Grains. I think they make this. But this is not the this is not the name of the product, basically. We just put it in this jar. But this is how it looks. So we use it like a granola, but it's not so sweet, but we like it for the crunch. What we add to it for the granola is Purely Elizabeth's Organic um, Ancient Grain Granola. Delicious. It has uh, coconut. Yeah, this one has sugar, but you know, try to stay away from too much. Uh, it has organic quinoa flakes, organic chia seeds, organic cinnamon. Uh, yeah, all that good stuff. So it's salty, sweet, crunchy clusters with organic oats, chia, and coconut sugar. It's delicious. And so, did I show you guys the milk? Yeah, the milk. And we like to add, I like to drizzle honey on the top of it. You'll see that at the end. I have to get the honey. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So let's get to... I like to let it defrost a little bit for it to get a little softer. And this is a little too hard. So I put it in warm water for a little bit. So I'm just gonna add this. This is how it looks on the inside. Yeah. 
and uh That banana, strawberry mix. Banana. Banana. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that yummy goodness, acai. Try to get every drop. So when I blend this, this is going to be enough for me, one adult, and four children. So this yields a lot. So if you're making this for yourself, adjust the quantity accordingly. So I think like one packet and a few strawberries, one banana. But I make it stretch. I make it stretch. So now we're going to add our milk, our soy milk. I add a little bit and then I adjust it as I go for the texture. Like This is so good. I'm just so excited. I haven't had this in two weeks. All right. We'll be back. Need some more milk. Too watery, and I don't want it to be too thick as well. So you add as you go. Eight. So I like to add a little honey, or if I had agave, I would add agave just a little bit to sweeten it up, just a tad. But, you know, I add the honey at the end, so just a little bit. Add some honey. Port of Houston ranks the fifth in the U.S. in terms of cargo turnover. No, I think that's good. This is the consistency. All right, let's taste it to see if it's missing anything. Yeah, this is good. Being so diverse, no wonder Houston has a lot of good choices. From Houston Pleasure, a simple Arvo, the permanent collection of the museum. I realize it, I like when I'm able to pour it out, so it, it needs a little bit more milk. Hopefully you guys can see. I can't zoom in. I don't know how to zoom in. So, pour it in. So I add some bananas to the side. I'm trying to be aesthetic. One of the stars of the show. I'll put the picture up of what it is. It just gives it a nice little crunch. And I mean, if you have any other fruit, I'm thinking if you have mango, I don't know. I'm going to try it with mango. These granolas are everything. This is fresh from outside. Just now, the kids just picked it out. Something by adding some mangoes. Uh, this is how I always give my kids the mango. Less mess. Last but not least, we're going to add some honey. Some honey, honey. Alright. Sorry, Zach, you get the poop bowl. Older kids. I should get a nice pick. My goodness. I said a boatload, a mouthful. And I realized I wasn't recording. I just started back using my camera. I've been recording on my phone. And so, 
I'm trying to get back to the hang of things. Like it's been a while since I've used my camera. I just said a whole bunch. And it wasn't recording. It just was so refreshing. Sorry for all the background noise. You know. What I was saying before I realized I wasn't recording is that what this experience, this traumatic experience I have went through, I have gone through this past six, seven, eight months has taught me that life is so precious and so fragile and so short that we need to stop putting things that we want to do that God have placed, has placed in our hearts to, to complete. We need to stop putting it on the side, on the back burner. Stop having excuses. Keep putting it off for tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow. But what if tomorrow doesn't come? But I felt like my baby girl gave me uh, the needed push to reach the goals I set out for myself. Uh, and it starts with baby steps, of course. I'm trying to learn to be consistent with the platform that God has allowed me to have on social media, um, whether how small it may be. If you have two, two followers, one follower, you have a platform for me. And I, I want to grow, grow it to where God wants me to have it and just be a light in this dark world. So you guys are going to see along the way the things that I wanted to accomplish um, that I felt was kind of difficult or impossible oh, my battery's about to die impossible with having children and not only having children having a boatload of children he wants us to live our life with abundance abundance is not only having millions and millions of dollars yes that doesn't hurt you have if you're blessed to have millions of dollars your kingdom building is on another level so i'm not saying that's the only way you can live a life of abundance, but if he gives you our, if he gives us health, if he gives us this body, we need to optimize it to the best that it can be, right? So we can have the best health that we can have. We can have the best physical uh, appearance that we can have. We can have the best mental, live it abundantly. And so I'm on this journey. I have some weight to lose. And I'm trying to figure out what to do because I need a workout partner until I can become more consistent on my own. I just need accountability <laughs> is what I'm saying. And I don't necessarily need a workout partner. I just need accountability. I would love to work out um, every day. And that's one of the things I don't want to leave on the back burner. I always told myself. I don't want to. I don't want to be forced to be healthy. When when you know, if I get a sickness or something like that, if I get sick, I have to force to be healthy. I have to be forced to be healthy. I have to force be forced to. I have to be forced to work out. You know, I want to do it on my own. So those you know, prevention is better than cure. And so on this journey, you're going to see, you know, us trying to eat healthier. Yes, we're plant based vegan whatever that doesn't mean that you're healthy so mommy hmm? okay good put it in the sink so yeah eating healthy not only eating healthy watching the times i feel like i'm all over the place but it's a morning chat with me and so getting a grip on that working out and we all have a bucket list that we want to complete while we're on this earth so go on this journey of me trying to check off those bucket list items and for the summer to end this video for the summer um i always do well this is the second time i'm doing it with the kids uh summer bucket list and so uh maybe a few videos in the future from now we'll talk about our summer bucket list now that summer has begun officially begun so i ain't trying to edit a lot so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like, subscribe. If you're not, please like. You know I'm a small YouTuber. 
and you know this big algorithm of YouTube if you don't like the video if you don't subscribe or if you don't even comment I'm gonna stay in the in the shadows you know Come, yeah love you guys and you know what I would say remember the king is coming you don't want to be left on the wrong side of his justice get it right get it tight get it right get it tight and you'll be alright <laughs>